so I know exactly how it feels to feel alienated when you don't have the language to speak about who you are when you don't have any um, reference points out there or role models in the media to look upon um, to see yourself in, um, it's extremely difficult and that's why we do need um, LGBT role models going into schools to remind kids that they're not alone, you can be queer and have a happy life or you can, you can be whoever you want to be and not feel like you need to sacrifice a part of yourself. Um, and that's what's really important because I thought that I could never be trans and happy, that um, I would have to keep it a secret for the rest of my life, that my parents were never going to understand and they're going to disown me. And a lot of it is just um, being scared of the what if and the unknown. I felt extremely alone when I was growing up. I was the only black kid in my school. Um, and a lot of the microaggressions that people speak about now, I was experiencing every single day, and a lot, a lot of those, um, that, that builds up, and um, it can have a real effect on you. And in the last couple of weeks, you've covered your scars with artwork, with tattoos. Yeah, my well, I've got other self-harm scars on my legs, but um, these ones are the first. This is the first time that I self-harmed and um, com um, attempted suicide. Um, so I just wanted to not cover them up. I wanted to like merge them with um, artwork that shows me as a strong person. So it's just me basically as a superhero. I'm not entirely sure what she <laughs> is. Why not? You should be a superhero every day, right? Yeah, just like, you know, I feel really empowered. I feel beautiful. I feel intelligent. I'm confident. I'm, I know where I want to go in my life. And this is a point where I had none of that. So it's just showing that things really do get better. It's interesting, isn't it? Because we talk about the gender debate, uh, the race debate, and the word debate conjures up images of yeah. a discussion, a civilised discussion well, where I mean, everybody has information and can talk sensibly. Yeah. But the issue of gender has become so toxic. Why do you think that is? I like to call it the gender conversation because it isn't a debate. And I think that for too long, trans people have been forced by the media to try and validify our existences or how we identify um, and I want to speak about how we're all going to exist together in society because the truth is that trans people haven't just appeared we've always been here so really it's other people that need to play catch up not us uh, you were invited to advise the Labour Party on trans issues and there was a backlash yeah this was all because of tweets you'd sent historically, using language like gay bashing, hairy lesbian, and just in light of this toxic debate, toxic discussion mm. on various issues. I just wonder what you think now. For sure, um, if you place it in the context of who I am as a person now, when I, said that, when I sent those tweets, which I don't condone and were extremely stupid, but I was also 22 and identifying as a gay male, so in the context of who I was at that time, it's very different to who I am as a person now. I wonder what you'd have said at that age if someone had confronted you about those I probably would have probably wouldn't have understood because I feel that as people we grow and we, gr we, we don't, you know, we're not born into the world with a perfectly aligned set of politics. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something that we need to learn as people. And some of the most woke people now they've had a journey to get to where they are. And when I was 21, you know, I, was, I attempted suicide. I was not in um, a good place. And I definitely didn't understand who I was as a person. I definitely didn't understand politics like I do now. And did it show you that politics is actually more divisive than ever? What did you tell, politics tell you about Politics is more divisive politics? than ever because it, there was 30 people on that LGBT advisory board, but I was the only one that people went after. And then when I left, they went after somebody else. And then when that person left, they went after somebody else. So it had nothing really to do with me. It was about using me as a political pawn to try and bring down Jeremy Corbyn or discredit Jeremy Corbyn or the Labour Party by the Conservative press. Three topics that always come up. Mixed bathrooms. Mm -hmm gender-neutral clothing and gender-neutral toys. We'll park yeah. the bathrooms for one moment because that's a, that's a quite, um, shall we say, hotly contested conversation. Mm. In the terms of gender-neutral clothing and toys, do you think it's trivialising 
something Not quite really, serious? Because I think when we think about where we need to go with this conversation, it is educating from a base level. So that really does involve kids. And if a kid is, um, if we're talking about gender from a very early age, then that's going to make it so much less of a problem going down the line. And I mean, when we talk about gender neutral toilets, these things have always existed. We're just using different language. They're in our homes, aren't they? Well, exactly. They're in our homes. You go to any fancy hotel in London and the toilets are mixed. We used to call them unisex, but I think because the language has changed and we're just saying gender neutral instead of we're unisex. We're fighting over language again. We're fighting over language and it's ridiculous. These things have existed for so long. And just finally, it's a royal wedding coming up this weekend. Meghan Markle's welcome into the royal family is, see, is being seen as a real big step for diversity in this country. Do you think it's that significant? So, um, not, not really. I think on a very surface level, it, it's nice to see a woman of colour there, but it's still a woman of colour in an elitist position. Um, and I think that, and I don't know, I, I feel that we're so divided as a, as a country anyway, I think that, I don't know, I, don't, I really don't think that it brings any of us closer.